Welcome to another exciting adventure of On The Bench. Hey, if you've been following the channel any at all here lately, you know I've been kind of searching for a new guitar. Uh, we bought that guitar from a musician's friend, and unfortunately when I got it out of the box, it was unplayable. But I will tell you this, they sent me a label, they took the guitar back. Uh, there wasn't a problem from that end of it at all. Get this thing open up, though. This is an Epiphone guitar. I've had many Epiphones in my time, and I am a big fan of Epiphone. This is a student guitar, or a beginner's guitar, I guess you could call it. And I'll tell you what I liked about it when I get her out of the box. pretty well. This guitar was originally at a uh, store in Champaign, Illinois. And that is it. Then, it got shipped to Peoria, Illinois, on the 15th of April, and I ordered it on the 20th. I gotta tell you, it's a pretty good pack job. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of bubble wrap in here, though. So, what's the best way to do this? This is going to be excruciatingly long. I can see that. So here we are. I got to wonder if it was on the floor. This is an Epiphone Pro One. Say it's a dreadnought. It looks like a dreadnought size. It's got the, uh, I always called this the bikini style headstock. The old school 60s looking thing. It's got the uh, Keystone tuners. Made in China. And offhand, Without getting one. Looks like it's a 19, I'm sorry, a 2022 model. Let's get this off. I ordered this on a Saturday, and today's Tuesday. Wow. That is probably about the lowest action I've ever seen on an acoustic guitar coming out of a box. I don't see anything wrong with the neck right off him. Frets feel pretty good. get around the bench and I'll show you some pictures and give you some initial thoughts. So as usual this video is not sponsored in any way whatsoever. 
Uh, I paid for this guitar with my own money. I've been kind of wanting one. New guitar day. I have had a ton of Epiphones in my lifetime. Acoustics and electrics. This is uh, what's been affectionately known as the uh, bikini headstock logo. I've had other guitars. I had a Wildcat that had like a tiger stripe finish to it. I like it. I mean, I'll, I'll buy a guitar because of a headstock faster than about anything. Oop, listen to that. But I really like these old school tuners. I believe they say Epiphone Deluxe on them. I don't know. These feel like cheap plastic. I mean, you know, you probably see this little mark. Anyway, nice neck. I like this placement here for the strap button. Get her turned over here. They say it's rosewood. I don't know. It sure is an open pour wood. They make it kind of look like that it's got a binding on the guitar, but it doesn't. It's kind of painted on or something. I don't know, but... I don't know if you can hear that. It's kind of scuffing a little bit. I mean, really pretty nice fret work. This guitar has traveled around a little bit. It's supposed to actually come with a, a, a humidifier. And this was probably hanging in the store in Champagne. And somehow made its way to Peoria. The earlier models had a string through bridge. I mean, it's not the first time that had been done, but I've just never been a big fan of it. I really... I wanted a pinned, pinned bridge. And I'm not real crazy about the finish. I wish it was a, an open pour, but it's a laminate top. I've played it, it sounds beautiful. I'll play it a little bit for you if you want me to. They call this their scratchless pit guard. I don't know how that is. Nor would I ever really care. Look pretty. Fairly clean on the inside. It looks like it was probably made in 22. Yeah, really nice. So I got this from uh, Guitar Center, 139 bucks. And then since I'm a new customer, they took $5 off. So that's a deal. I don't know how they made any money. You've seen all that bubble wrap. I was going to buy a roll of bubble wrap. I don't think I need to now. It is a dreadnought shape, but it certainly is not as thick. I mean, I don't know. Every dreadnought I had, ever had, it seemed like it was hard to get it thrown over you. Let's see if I can locate a pick in this mess. somewhere. Heaven be with me. There it is, you know. It's got lighter gauge strings on it. I might change that, but as far as intonation... Mm -hmm. First experience with a, uh, a company that I've never purchased anything from before. I've heard so many bad things about them, not sponsored by them, but uh, anyway, listen, go out and take some tax money and buy yourself a new guitar. Rock on. <laughs>